Hey everybody, welcome back to the Spoonie Files. It's Sandra, aka Kitty. I am coming to you from live and direct right in bed. Um, I have missed like two editions. Today is Tuesday, so I missed yesterday's edition and I missed the Monday before that. I've been really, really unwell, but I wanted to make a short video for you guys. Um, and it's not answering a question. And uh, I still plan on doing the, the, the media strike that I talked about, but today's issue is just going to be a little bit about what is going on with me. Um, that's part of what we do, or at least part of what my Spoonie fam does on IG, is share our stories and share what's going on in our lives. So I thought that I would share what is going on with me since um, I've been kind of MIA. Um, lately it's just been a little kind of extra, uh, extra, <laughs> like a little bit too much extra going on. Um, today is the first day, I know it looks like I have a black eye, right? But today is the first day that I've actually played in makeup in a really long time. Uh, I had like half a spoon and I spent it, um, doing this. So, um because I have two doctor's appointments tomorrow and so it's a test run to see um, what I'm gonna do for in the morning I don't like to be pressed like you know so I don't leave the house very much I spend most of my days in bed um, I mean that's where the majority of my time is spent so when I have to leave the house I kinda like to, to test run makeup the night before um, so that when I get up in the morning I know what I'm gonna do and I'm not like looking around picking stuff so that's what this is all about um, but I just wanted to talk about what's been going on with me recently and so that there's an explanation of why my face is half done but um, I've just it's just been like a little bit it's been a lot of disappointment and I haven't really talked about how I felt about what's going on with anybody but since being diagnosed with the trigeminal neuralgia there was like two other diagnoses one was TMD or J or G or whatever the diagnosis is for lockjaw and I have to go see an oral surgeon tomorrow and I have to see an oral surgeon I just have a cavity but because I have the locked jaw and my mouth doesn't open as wide as the regular dentist would need, I have to be put to sleep. So, um, an oral surgeon has to, like, deal with one little cavity. It's, it's like, crazy. Like, everything that goes on with my health has to be, like, extra, extra. There that phrase is again. Um, but the other one was, um... I have developed sorry narcolepsy I put a uh, Jingle Bell Rocks as my notification Did I show you guys my new I got the Samsung Galaxy S5 I am so stoked I've had it for like a couple weeks I see my pink blinged out case um narcolepsy so I if I don't have a nap in the middle of the day I have been like dead to the world at about five o'clock every day no joke like straight legit going to sleep at like five o'clock in the evening it's so ridiculous so if I have a nap during the day that kind of staves it off a little bit but other than that I I'm like flat out like and then if I'm doing anything I'm sorry my teeth hurt <laughs> if I'm doing anything I, I start like if I'm text if I'm in the middle of texting with somebody or chatting with somebody I start typing gibberish like no joke like just straight gibberish it, it's like my my son said that while they were over here I was sitting up talking to him and I just like fell over into his lap he was like sitting up in bed with me it, it's crazy and even with the trigeminal neuralgia what what they told me is that normally it's one side mine is literally bilateral so I, so both sides of my mouth are affected and it's just crazy that takes me up to 19 
and so now my uh um brain fart rheumatologist thank you said that we can't deal with the skin diseases because I've got um whatever the Michael Jackson skin disease is called where your skin gets lighter vitiligo I'm sorry 20 20 diseases because now I have vitiligo and he said like we're not gonna deal with that like all of the other things we're not gonna deal with the narcolepsy we're not gonna deal with the vitiligo we're not gonna deal with any of the other things that I have going on until they get my mouth under control here's the kick in the head I have been prescribed no less than three medications trying to deal with this and my body keeps rejecting them and so then they have to DC them and so they said that what's, I have to have surgery for this condition. What they have to do is try to either move or remove the vein or artery that is sitting on the nerve that is causing the problem. This cannot happen for a minimum of three months. Both my neurologist and my rheumatologist have a specific sorry, oral surgeon that they want to deal with the problem that is in the next state over and that person is severely backed up they cannot even see me for a consultation for a minimum of three months so then my neurologist tried to like call in and say can you please see her sooner and the answer was flat out no so I asked them I'm like okay you can't give me any medication or at least I'm not you know my body is not receiving the medication that you're giving me so you're telling me that I literally have to suffer with this for three months and he's like I'm sorry Sandra but yes well, like right now I'm talking and I like literally don't want to talk anymore I want to cry I needed that light for recording um it's just it's just really really crazy and I live and like I don't live in a small town place I mean I literally live 20 30 minutes outside of Chicago this is a big place but there's only one doctor that can do the surgery that I need done so that I can have relief with my mouth and in the meantime everything else that's going on with me is on hold so the surgery that I'm supposed to be having for the intrathecal pump is on hold. I can't see a skin doctor. Any other other things that I have going on, um, and I think I have like a cold, the cold, a cold or the flu or something, and so that's making matters worse. I wake up not able to breathe. I'm congested. It's just awful, and so. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an update about what has been going on with with me. Um, my, I don't, I don't know what, but I'm like in a severe flare. When I get ready to type or or do anything with my tablet or my phone, my fingertips hurt. So I can't, you know, do the finger on the screen. Everything is touch screen, and my fingertips literally hurt my ears hurt the ear that is on this pillow right now is hurting like I am just it's just kind of miserable and hiding it just is becoming really exhausting like even to just try to pretend that I'm not suffering as much as I am is just becoming really really exhausting so I just wanted to give you guys an update about why I am MIA because Spooning Files is really important to me and um, normally you know it, it's, it is a priority but I've just been I, I'm in <laughs> the struggle is real y'all so um, yeah but I love you 
and I'll see you as soon as I can. Love, peace, and hair grease. Ciao.